Hello, my friend. In my book, Rising from Existential Crisis, I have explained what an existential crisis is and how it is very often provoked and brought about by our society, our family, our work circumstances, the choices we have to make, but also by natural catastrophes and particularly by political situations. So rather than dismissing people's troubles as having something to do with their psyche, their internal world, as if there were something wrong with them, we address the issues people are dealing with in relation to their origins and often in relation to the situation these people still find themselves in so that it becomes very difficult to cope with something that is actually raw and that is keeping being re-stimulated and made worse all the time. So what I showed is that one of the most important things in such a situation is that we take ourselves seriously instead of putting ourselves down. We know that we are in a difficult corner. We know that we are being wronged. We know that we are having to find new resources inside of us to cope. And we know that we may have to go through a phase or we will have to go through a phase where everything is insecure and looks out of kilter and seems impossible to comprehend or to do anything about. So we feel submerged by it. We feel at a loss. And when we feel in that dark place where we feel usually very alone and where we feel usually oppressed and desperate, when we're in that place, we need to know what the right direction of travel is. What it is we can do actively to make something of that situation, to know what our moral, our ethical position is. It may be that we need to fight even to the death and that there will be value and completion of our lives in that process. It may be that we have to affect an important new change or transformation in our lives and that we have to dare to make new choices. It may be that we need to find more like-minded people to find solidarity with others and support so that we're no longer in isolation. There may be many different solutions, but they come automatically when we understand and acknowledge our position and validate it to ourselves. And then hopefully with a bit of human kindness and support around us, we can then start to see where we are in relation to our values, what options are open to us or are close to us, and do something with that. And in that process, there will be much emotion and much turmoil. Do not hold it against yourself. Use your emotions to get clarity, not to get further confused. Listen to yourself. Understand where you're coming from, where you are at, and where you need to go with it my friend. Stand with yourself before anything else. 
but always stand for things that matter, that are precious and worthwhile, and connect to other people who are with you in that process, and all will be well in the end, no matter what may happen. Be well.